excited to be able to offer you this great resource. I spent a couple days really crafting this to make sure it could be really helpful for my students. So one of the biggest questions I get is how do I build a portfolio? Uh, and I have classes and lessons that go in more detail about that, but I wanted to provide you guys with a template a portfolio building template in various sizes so you can at least have a framework uh, to get started with building your portfolio. And this would be a PDF based portfolio for sending to clients, for applying to jobs, uh, whatever it is you need a PDF based portfolio for. So if you look at the resource files I provide you, you're gonna have this file system. I have this in two different sizes. We have a horizontal uh, presentation and a vertical presentation. They both have their benefits. Uh, it depends on what kind of work you do and how your photos are working, what orientation you want to go for. Um, and also I'm happy to announce that I have this in both A4 size, so European sizes, Asian sizes, basically the whole world uses um, this measurement system. And then for the United States, for, the, for those who use inches, I have a eight and a half by 11 template as well. So two different sizes depending on where you are in the world and two different orientations, vertical and horizontal. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use the template. If you've taken the InDesign basic lessons, then you'll be right at home. You're going to be able to, to really move around this template without any issues. I also provided an example PDF so you can kind of see how I adapted this template and uh, grabbed a couple of different layout pages to craft something a little more custom. Um, so you can kind of see how I've used that in this example, just kind of go scroll through this. I have a PDF where you'll be able to access this and see how I've used some of the pre-made layouts um, to be able to craft a portfolio. So let's open one of these in the example. Let's do a horizontal version and let's stay, uh, stick with the A4 horizontal size. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And uh, this is a packaged InDesign file. We studied that in the basic InDesign lessons. And so you have the links here to all the photos that are used. In this case, there's only one photo. You have document fonts, which you have Roboto. This is from Google Fonts. Make sure you check the license. It's free for uh, personal use. So you could just check out the license on that. And that is the only font I use throughout the entire piece. And you can get it on Google Fonts. Or you can install it directly from the template files. And lastly is a uh, two different files. The INDD would be the file that you would open. That's the InDesign file. The IDML is kind of a more universal format that you can open it up. It's kind of more of that universal document. So if you have an older version of Adobe InDesign, this would be kind of the file that you would use if you don't have a current up-to-date version. So let's go ahead, I have the 2020 version, so let's go ahead and open it up. And here's the basic template. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. You can see all the page layout options you have. I'm gonna go ahead and start with page one. And it's got some basic instructions on page one, but I figured a video might be a little bit easier. So moving pages around. I'm gonna go up to my pages tab and we can go ahead and move any of these around. So how do you use this portfolio builder? What I like to do is go through all the different layouts to see kind of what particular case study might match with a certain layout. Of course, all these you can customize. You can move this over and make it go bleed or however you want to customize it. But they're just some basic layouts that I think are personally effective when displaying different case studies and graphic design projects. So let's say I want to use this one right here. This is the photo overlap layout. It's the eighth layout. And let's say I want to start with that page for my first case study. I can just drag this page all the way up to the top, make that my first page. And same goes for the other ones. I can even duplicate. Let's say I want to have two of those in a row. I can right click, duplicate spread, and now I have page one and page two. And you can customize all this as just a header. So I can either say this is my first case study and swap that out with information. So let's say I want to change the color. So I don't really like this color for my headers or I want to use a different color for each one. And my portfolio for each case study, I decided to go with a different header color so that when people were scrolling through the PDF, they'd be able to identify what pages went with what case study. But let's say you want to have them all change the same. I'm going to go over to my color swatches, my swatches panel. Let's go ahead and drag this out. And I have something called branded color. So this could transfer over in your template. I'm just gonna double click this branded color and I'm gonna change it to any old color. Let's say kind of this darker uh, blue. Click okay. 
and this is global so that swatch is on all of the headers and also all of the type so let me go ahead and change that again so you can see so notice it changed the top but also all of the headers as well so you can kind of change that globally you don't have to sit there and change it on each page that's what's so nice about having these swatches assigned to specific objects let's say I want to drag this photo right in and just drag it right in it populates I can right click go to fitting go to fill frame proportionately or however you want to fit it and you can go ahead and do your photo of course we covered a lot of this in my InDesign basic le lessons where you can double click the photo and crop it within the frame or just click the frame once to change the frame size as you can see from my example, there are so many different varieties of layouts here that you can use. And uh, I find these layouts fairly effective and it's gonna depend on your project type and how many photos you have, what layout might work out best. I like to have a variety of layouts in my PDF presentation so that they're not the same layout over and over. You're switching it up. Maybe you have a photo on the right and then you have a photo on the left on the next page. Just trying to keep your PDF portfolio interesting as people look through the pages. And remember not to make it too long. Try to keep it, you know, under 15 pages if possible because that's a whole lot of work for people to look through. They may never get all the way to the bottom. So keeping it with your only your best work, maybe pick three to six different case studies that you can have. Pick out your best work only. All that other smaller work, you can put that on the side or make a gallery page at the very end with some kind of random selected work instead of featuring a whole page on some of those. So there's some quick tips and I hopefully you will enjoy this portfolio building template. I spent a lot of time on it, making sure you had both a vertical and horizontal version and came up with some what I thought were really good layouts, but you can customize it, make it your own. I can't wait to see your PDF portfolios in action so you can land some of that client work and start to get some jobs.